What's cracking guys, JP here again, bringing you another update of this 20 gallon reef tank. Now this tank have a lot of major changes lately, but the biggest one is I will be moving to a different house. I got my new job at a different city, so I'll be bringing this with me and I'll try to document as best as I can how to move your corals and such and fish. And I'll see, I'll do my best to not kill anything. But overall, as you can see, uh, my red Monty here is gone. I have fragged it out and gave it to somebody. And then I just moved my gold hammer above and it sat on that shelf of that dead Monty. Now why I have fragged that big piece was it was just blocking so much flow and then also the light below. So I was not having that coral right here in front of you guys. And it was just getting over, you know, crowded here. I just didn't like it. But I did save a few, you know, pieces. I still have a big piece here, big piece here. I can still see mini fragments that will be growing. And then once I moved my gold hammer here, it just sit on that shelf perfectly and it doesn't fall off and it really likes that higher light. Now back then, why I don't think it was doing well. I was moving this guy around here, back here, back here, and back here. But once I moved him in the front, uh, it was receiving enough light that it was open all the time. So that's what made me think that my light was not enough for my gold hammer. So once I start fragging my Monty, I just moved it, bam, it's open all the time. Puffy, very it started to get the coloration back. And then I moved my frog spawn, it was back here. It was shaded from this green torch right here. Also my green hammer. It was getting shaded so much that it was growing very slow. So now they're in the middle, getting enough light. Look at that, it's so puffy. Now I have another back here, behind, and it was way puffy. I have, I have my frag, green frags for my green torch in the back. I have my green hammer right there. So you can see it's extending all the sweeper tentacles. It's doing pretty well. It is growing quicker. I think it's getting the coloration back again. So that's a good thing. So, so overall, I have not added any new corals, any new fish really for like a year or so now. For corals, maybe two years or more. But overall, I think it's doing pretty well. I have not changed anything. I stopped dosing any chemicals anything I basically just uh, do the natural way now what I found out is uh, my alkalinity was 7 between 7.7 .7 to 7 between water changes now my corals back then everybody was on 9 or 10 when I was in reef crystals now once I I used that cr reef crystal all the corals were all like short puffy and it, it doesn't really look extended at all because there's it's just a high alkalinity and once I transferred to the instant ocean just a regular one then this happened everybody opened up everybody is ev uh, happy even though I did not change a thing I only changed my salt and I think that helped a lot with the coloration and all the extension so that's good so watch out for those high salt or alkalinity mixture um, I think if you do dose your reef tank with, you know, two part, the instant ocean will help you a lot because, you know, you're already dosing. But if you don't dose, I would think that the reef crystals uh, will help every time you do a water change. But of course, don't do like 50 water, 50% 50 water change two times in a day because <clears throat> that will skyrocket your levels. That's what happened to me one day before I switched. So... Now that every time I do a water change, uh, the levels are very close. They're not, you know, my water change I'm adding in is like 10 if I'm using reef crystals. But my tank is like 8, so it will spike up. But if I'm using instant, instant ocean, it's about 8 or 9. So it just kind of comes up a little bit, but not crazy high. So that's what I like about it. And it's a lot cheaper too. So, more for me. So... My fish, they're doing happy. Also, what I found out with these clownfish is the less I put my hand in the tank, you know, I, the less I move corals around, disturb their 
territory or anything, they don't rec recognize my hand anymore, you know. Back then, when I was putting all my hand, moving this, moving that, you know, the fish see my hand and they think it's the enemy, so they bite my hand. And I think that's, they're guarding their territory also. And, you know, they, they recognize my hand. So now, that I, the only time I put my hand in it, or barely, is when I do a water change or, you know, recently move a coral just once a month. And now, every time I put my hand in there, the fish don't even recognize my hand. They don't even bite me anymore. So I think that's what contributes it. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, if once you recognize the enemy, they know the enemy. So... That's one thing if you have a killer clownfish, try to put your hand less in the tank. You know, just try to keep your hands away. Another benefit for keeping your hands away from your tank is, you know, your hand can be dirty. You don't know if you have if you work in your car and you have oil and you just put your tank in the hand. Now you have oil in your tank. Now that's going to kill your corals. So, in my opinion, it's a double benefit, really. Wow, that's really extending all the tentacles, like sweeper. But I think that's what I found out. Um, overall, you know, they're not spawning. They're not territorial. I think uh, they're really liking the more uh, corals everywhere, any, and then the less hands I put. And they're just happy. Uh, I still have my cleaner crew. I still have my two Astria snails. I still have my hermit crab. My only single one I have him now for about three years. Crazy, right? And I still have my cleaner shrimp. You can kind of see the whisker back there. And then basically, you know, just doing pretty well. Just keep it stable. Keep it consistent. Um, do your maintenance. Do uh, good husbandry. Uh, I'm still using my auto top off that I made three years ago. Zero failure. Very, very good. Super cheap, zero failure, very reliable. So the only thing downside with the uh, auto top off that I made is you gotta do it daily or every two days because uh, it does drop off a little bit, especially in a 20 gallon. And you know, if you come home once a day, you know, it's okay. Um, you just fill up, you know, once a day. That's the good thing. But the downside is if you do travel, um, then you gotta buy your automatic top off with electronics. So that's the only downside for that DIY top off. But overall, really, everybody's happy. I'm still using my Aqua Clear and such. Uh, my LED bulb did kind of go bad for the refugium, so I just have a temporary right now. I might buy the same one someday, but I will improve it so it's more open. I just have it on basically. You know, this this thing I made from, I just smashed it and fit it in my refugium and the bulb will be sitting here. I think it probably got salt creep or got moisture and it just went bad. So, maybe in the future I will try to improve that. So, I think I have to move this guy just to the side. I do have uh, a stick. This is the one of the, uh, you know, algae thingy that you have to scrape the side of your tank and I just move this um, corals around with this if I can you know the more uh, stuff you put in your hand you know in the tank it's gonna go bad oh, shit. so the light just turned blue and looks like everybody's happy well let's put my gel filter here a second guys let's see we'll see the coloration sometimes my Gel, my camera is just going bad, I think. So, I just need a new phone also. But my phone is like Samsung S, S4, so that's pretty old. A lot of got, uh, people now have like S8 and such. So, you kind of see it, it's just really dark. Yeah. But overall, you know. I don't complain, I'm happy of my tank. You know. This guy has been going with me for three years now. And hopefully the move will go okay. I won't kill anything. So now I have I have picked three gel filters here. 
that's where the diff different ones there's a darker one there's a lighter one you know now they're all orange gel filters and it does work and help a lot with the uh, blue coloration so and you can kinda see the gold color of the gold hammer right there it's just a little bit blue but it's doing okay Well, thanks for watching, guys. And thanks for the subscribers, comments, and likes. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. And I'm gladly to help you or try my best to answer it. And happy reefing. Adios.